this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a CV website in less than 10 minutes flat. Stay tuned. One of the reasons why you might want to be building a CV website is so you can stand out from the crowd. If you are you know, looking for a job with a small or medium sized business, then business owners have so much time, uh, well, so little time to do things that um, a lot of time they appreciate people who make that conscious effort to make their life easier by creating a website or creating a video that you can put onto the website. And this is probably one of the best ways in 2019 and probably over the next few years to make you stand out from all the other people looking to get the same job that you're going for. So having an online CV is probably one of the best investments that you can do for yourself if you are looking for a job and not really starting your own online business. So some of the things that you need to know about getting a CV website is you need a domain name, okay, and you need hosting. And if you don't know what they actually are, well, very simply, a domain name can be anything. Ideally, you'd probably want it in your name or some sort of variation of your name. Um, and the hosting is something that you put your website site onto so uh, everyone else can see it as well okay and that that is as much as you need to know about about this okay so domain names are usually a yearly payment and hosting is a monthly payment but a lot of the time you've got um hosting companies that give you really good discounts if you purchase for the year which i would recommend anyway uh, so if you use the link in my description you're going to get a big big discount um kind of what you see here so i'm going to recommend going with a hosting company which is pretty cheap um, and it's got a pretty nice interface and we're going to call it Hostgator, okay? So Hostgator is a company and you can choose whichever plan you want. I would recommend, you know, if you don't want to play it, um, you, if you want something reasonably fast and what's not, then either pick baby plan or business plan. I'm going to go with the business plan because uh, just generally it's a little bit faster than the other ones, but it's completely up to you. Now here where it says enter your domain name, just go ahead and enter your domain name. So for example, my name, if I was creating a CV website, I'll call my web, my CV website, Marty Englander, and uh, you can see it's got .com there, or you can change your extension. So it can be anything on those lines, um, but yeah, now the domain name's not available because I've actually, I already own martyenglander.com, but you know, it will show you different sorts of things that you can also get as well. And you know, one of the great things about HostGator is that they actually um, give you free one year stuff when you purchase a hosting plan as well. So if you wanted martyengland.net, you know, and um, you know, you may be thinking, oh, well, what extension do I go with? Don't procrastinate on that. It's not a big deal. You're only going to be using this for CVs or when you're giving it in to someone. Naturally.com is always the best. If you can get it, go ahead. I am actually a firm believer that uh, you should always try and get your, your name, uh, domain name under your name with the .com version anyway, but it's not a huge, huge issue, okay? So go with whichever one you like the look of, but you should spend no more than two minutes uh, searching for your domain name okay so once you've done that you then want to go ahead and choose your hosting plan like i said i uh, tend to go with business but it's a little bit faster than all the others and then you choose your billing cycle now depending on um how long you purchase the plan for uh, will get you better discounts uh, usually i go for 12 or 24 months but again uh, it, it's up to you whichever one you want to go for okay so once you've done that you'll enter some security information and then you have the option to pay via your credit card or paypal now if you quickly scroll down um they give you a free ssl certificate which is great it's just added security google loves it and um, it shows people visiting your site that you care about encryption and stuff like that but again you don't need to, don't worry about that it's not that i mean it is important but you don't need to know about it because it does it for you anyway then we've got protect your site from hackers. Just go ahead and untick that. You don't need that. But if you want to give that added security, go ahead and tick that. Office, um, do you want a, a customized domain name, a customized email domain name? So for example, your name at example.com. So if uh, you purchase martyanglander.com, your email address will be something on the lines of hello at martyanglander.com or cv at martyanglander.com. So if you want that integration, just go ahead and click that. Uh, again, it's not a big thing. Um, 
it's completely up to you. I like having uh, branding and uh, making sure everything's consistent. So I would probably get that, but again, you don't need it. Then if we scroll down, back up your hard work, you don't need that just on ticket because there's actually plugins that you can use to back it up. I'm not gonna cover that in this video, but you know, uh, if, if you want me to cover that in another video, just go ahead and comment below. And then improve your search rankings, go ahead and, well, uh, it doesn't cost you anything, so leave that tick, why not? Okay, then you've got your discount code and you can see uh, it may cost you $228 depending on your um, on, on what you've chosen, but at the end of the day, this is a fantastic investment for yourself. So it's definitely worth the investment if you can afford it. If you can't, then just go ahead and change it to the monthly plan and pay it monthly, okay? Okay, so go ahead and purchase that. And once you've done that, you are then going to go to a C panel and uh, you're offered to install WordPress. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so once you have purchased that, um, I now want you to go ahead and click the link in my description, which is uh, setting up your first website. And what I've done, I've created a super in detail blog, which contains little snippet videos and step by step instructions on how to install WordPress and stuff like that. I just didn't want to take up a huge amount of time covering all the ins and outs when I've already created something really, really specific. So what you will see is once you've chosen your hosting and gotten that sorted and everything like that, we can scroll down and this is the sort of interface that you're going to see. Um, and then if we scroll down, you know, this is the payment, etc. you enter your domain, blah, blah. Uh, let's just keep on scrolling and this is what your interface will look like okay so then once you've done that you will then go ahead and start installing wordpress which i actually cover in this video right here on how to install wordpress okay so once you've installed wordpress i'm going to go ahead and now head over to my uh, demo site which is called englanderproducts.com i'm going to go ahead and uh, go to my dashboard okay Okay, so I'm now going to introduce you to one of my favorite tools in the world, okay? And if you learn this software, you might not even want to get yourself a job because if you learn this sort of software, you'll probably start be able um, to start building and charging for website services, okay? So this is probably one of the best investments that I've personally ever made, and it's called Elementor. And again, I'm gonna link you to the relevant places in my description below, so make sure you click on those links. Um, and what it is, it's a website builder, but it's the most flexible, easy to use, and just, it's the top, top builder on the web, on the on online, okay? There's, honestly, it's changed the way people build websites. It's taken away the difference between web designer and web developer, okay? I'm going to get a lot of hate for that, for what I just said, but it's really true, okay? So unless you're a web developer and um, you're building something truly customized, this tool can basically do everything you need it to do and want it to do it if you're building for like small or medium-sized businesses. Um, so anyway, okay, so they do offer a free version, but in order to do what... Um, we really need it to do. I mean, you can do it on the free version, but just for simplicity and speed, okay, um, I use the pro version, okay? I actually have the expert, but if you're not going to be building loads of sites, the personal one is, is perfect, okay? It's got everything you need to do, and it's $49 a year, and uh, if you wanna cancel it at any point, you can do, and you'll always have it, but you just won't get the updates uh, if the second year comes around, you know, purchasing it but I promise you now this is the direction to go in if you want to build a CV website and you want complete control over everything okay so uh, I've actually already installed it all and um, I'm now going to go to my dashboard and in my dashboard this is what you're going to see stuff like this and you can go ahead and hide this by clicking screen options boom 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 and goodbye okay and what you want to do you want to go over to plugins and the first thing you want to do is click add new and then type in elementor okay okay so once you're there you can see you've got install now install now and where it says elementor page builder go ahead and click the install and then once it's installed go ahead and click activate okay now if you have purchased this then you'll be able to go into your account section and download it and once you've done that all you need to do to upload it is click add new upload plugin and drag that file from here into here 
and uh, press install now. And then once it's installed, head over to your installed plugins here and click activate. Okay, you will then need to enter your license by heading over to Elementor license and you would just connect it here okay so that's really simple and we don't need to really do anything else let me just move my camera so the next thing that you want to do is go to settings okay and you want to have a look at these little options here and what you can see is you've got all these little settings so for example where it says site title just change it to my cv okay and uh, for the tagline just put please contact me please contact me with any questions okay but you can put whatever you want there it really does not matter okay then we're going to go ahead and do save changes and next we want to go to permalinks okay so let's have a look at permalinks and what you'll see is you will likely have your settings like this so it will be here okay what you want to do is just go ahead and select post name and this just makes your urls look a little bit better a little bit prettier and easier to navigate around okay so go ahead and press save changes and now we are basically done but let's go ahead and do go to the pages section and click add new you won't see any of that this is just from past videos that i've done so go ahead and click add new and here let's title this home okay and we're just going to do publish okay so now we've created the home page and we want to go back to settings and then reading and where it says your latest posts and under it, you'll see a static page. So go ahead and uh, tick that. And then where it says home page, select that and pick the home page that you just created and press save changes. Make sure you have this unchecked. I've got it checked because I don't want Google recognizing this website, but you can go ahead and either select it. This basically is telling Google whether or not you want it to properly show when people search your name. It's completely up to you. If you have it checked, it's not going to show. If you have it and if you don't have it checked, it is going to show. OK, press save. OK, so let's go back to pages now and head over to the home page and then click edit with Elementor. So what's gonna happen now is you're going to see a interface and you may be thinking, oh, I don't see that header. I don't see this sort of thing. Well, don't worry. Again, this is just from a past video and I'm gonna get rid of it shortly. And if you like it in black, well, again, click on the three icons here and where it says preferences, you can see the UI theme. Just change that to auto detect light or dark okay i like it dark so i'm going to leave it in dark just go ahead and press update and okay so now we're finally ready to start editing and what you can see on your left hand side of the page is you've got the all your widgets which is basically done for you information ready to be displayed so it looks all pretty and you don't need to know the code okay so for example if you want to add text to a page all you've got to do is see the text editor icon there just drag it drop it boom, you've got text and you'll click in this box and you'll just enter like that. If you want to delete it, hover over it and right click, delete, boom. Okay, really easy. But we're actually going to be using a template which they provide us. So go ahead and click the add template button like so. And what you can see here is you've got all different sorts of uh, templates ready to use. Uh, so let's see if they've got, uh, if, okay, so if you enter CV, then what's gonna happen is you've got a CV template here. And if you wanna view it, just go ahead and click it and you can see that it's now been viewed. But let's go ahead and just press insert, okay? And what this is doing, it's now inputting everything onto the page. Now, one more thing that you can do, because we wanna make it really clean and shiny, is go over to the left-hand side here and click this settings icon, okay? And where it says page layout, just change that to Elementor Canvas, okay? Now you won't really have anything on the page or depending on the theme that you're using. And we're gonna, uh, and but what's not, but that's absolutely okay. So this is what it should look like. And if it doesn't, it probably means that you're not using the same theme. So uh, in order to use the same theme as what I'm using, go ahead and click this button here, these three icons and then exit to dashboard. And where it says appearance, go ahead into themes. And you can see I'm using a theme called Hello Elementor. Now, if you're not using a theme called Hello Elementor, all you need to do, it's a free one, is click Add New, and then type in search themes, Hello. Let it search, and then 
you can see here it says install, but it's this one here, and then you just press activate. Okay, and now that's been activated and you're using the same theme. So let's go back to pages, go back to the home page, edit with Elementor, and now it's loading. And now you can see we have the design done and ready to go. Okay, so the final thing to do is just change this information to whatever it is. And very easily, very simply, all you need to do is click on each bit you want to change. So if you want to change this, click on the edit icon. And on the left, just type in Marty Englander or whatever your name is. Let's say you want to change the color of it. So again, you will just select it. And where it says style, click on style and text color and change that to this. There you go. OK, and let's say you just wanted to save that color because you want to use it for other things as well. Just click add picks color and there you go. You've now got that color there. OK, and let's say I wanted to change the box. Well, again, this border here. So click on the edit column style and where it says border, click on that, click that. And then do you remember that color that we just saved? Boom. There you go. And you've got that sorted. OK, so that's literally the same. So with the image, click on that select choose image okay and then you just change it to anything so i'm going to change it to my dog okay and then insert and there you go you've got the dog and let's say it's it's too big or you want to make it smaller because it's not in a circle well again all you need to do is style and where it says width just change that like so and let's say you wanted to make it circle well where it says border radius change it to a percentage just here like so and just change uh, click on the top and this is going to change all the um, the dimensions um, for all of them and just type in 100 there you go boom how good does that look let's say you want to add a border to this as well where it says border type select it solid okay and then where it says color and again we can use that just like so but I actually don't like the border on it so I'm just going to go ahead and remove that like so and then literally that's all you do for doing that okay and uh, finally let's say you wanted to um add a social media icon or something on those lines well all you do is click on these this little box here and type in uh, social okay and you can see you've got social icons share buttons all sorts of things but go ahead and drag these social icons over just like so and you can see um they've appeared Go ahead and change the alignment to the left. If you want to add more social, just go ahead and click this and it will actually allow you to change whatever on and insert just like so. And if you want to change the color, go to style. OK, and then where it says color, official color, custom. And if we're going to stick with this black and white theme, just go ahead and click primary color, change that to black and boom. There you go. If you want to make it smaller where it says size, do you say you can make it all nice and big, whatever you want. And if you want to add your social media links, you would again click on this, click content, click social icons. And where it says link, just put in your link, OK, dot com and then update it. And now let's see what this looks like. So I'm going to take the URL, go to my web browser, press enter. Boom. You have yourself a full blown CV website. And that was ridiculously simple to do. If you have any questions or anything that you want to uh, talk about or you need advice or anything on those lines, please feel free to, lose, uh, to leave a comment below um, and I will definitely get back to you. Uh, I think I'm going to start uploading more videos like this for job hunters and all sorts of things because I think it's really important to start standing out, especially in 2019 going into 2020. Um, and if you want me to get more detail about hosting, WordPress, and all sorts of stuff like that, please leave a comment below. All links for Elementor, for Hostgator discounts, and all sorts of things, as well as my in-depth blog, will be found in the description right below this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.